So breakfasts at the time when you can really bang in your whole grains, your omegas, and start the day with a really good filling breakfast. You don't have to be a morning person. You can take these um, breakfasts to work or um, you can pack them for your snack. They're gonna include lots of healthy fats, lots of essential minerals, ingredients, lots of good sources of protein and your whole grains. So I use soy milk predominantly because I like the benefits of soy. Great for female health, great for anti-cancer um, and often fortified and one of the cheapest. It's brilliant for the planet. It's got the le least carbon and least water footprint of all the other plant milks. So we're just gonna make a simple porridge in the first instance and we're gonna create some overnight oats. So use about a cup of uh, porridge oats. Oats are naturally gluten-free, um, but because of the way they are processed, people will assume that they have gluten in them. They often are um, bound with other wheat products. So heat your porridge oats up with a cup of soy milk and a cup of water. Now you can make porridge at the beginning of the week and uh, you can just put it in, in a container in the fridge and you can take a portion of that out each day. It's gonna be absolutely fine. To this, I like to spice it up just to make it a bit interesting. We're gonna use an, a spice mix, which is predominantly uh, cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg. Um, it carries, porridge carries spice really well. So a good teaspoon, because you really wanna get a flavor kick and a grated apple. Now let the porridge come up to a simmer before you add the apple. And you just suddenly get a burst of all that, that spice flavor. So leave that to simmer and we'll grate an apple. Just use your box grater, grate all four sides. These are organic apples, I'm not gonna wash them. I don't think they're sprayed with anything nasty and harmful. And that's ready. So this is gonna be the basis for the porridge. So it's an apple spice porridge. We're gonna serve this with a blueberry chia jam. So the blueberries here, um, you literally just heat them up in the pan, add a dessert spoon of chia seeds, stir it round, let it sit and it'll thicken. And then you can serve that with the porridge when it's ready. So the porridge is now ready, it's thickened up. It's got the mixed spice in and just the porridge oats. Add your grated apple. This is a lovely autumnal flavor start to the day. Apples are in season around September time. So there are other options you can put in this. You can add some uh, unsulfured apricots. They're quite a sticky sweet, give a sticky sweetness. Um, and if you're eating the porridge cold, that might be quite enjoyable. Depending on how you like your consistency of porridge, entirely personal preference. So um, that's quite thick and I'm going to add lots of seeds. So I'm going to add a little bit more milk. And that's just warm through. Now for me, that would produce two, maybe three portions of porridge. But at least it's all ready. It's all prepared. So Monday morning, I know I've got the next three mornings breakfasts. It's quite filling when you see what else goes on top. Um, I think you'll understand. So first of all, I like to put some ground flax seed on. And again, this is mainly around hitting my omegas. So on a plant-based diet, uh, you're not eating fish and um, Fish is fortified with omegas, so it mainly comes from the algae that the fish eat. So a supplement of algae oil is really beneficial, um, but also eating these uh, flax and hemp seed is amazing. Walnuts are a really good source, a really healthy fat of protein, 
as are Brazil nuts as well as selenium. And these are going to texture your porridge as well, just to make it a bit more interesting. You don't need loads of them, um, but just a mix of these that, you know, you could grind them up at the beginning of the week, have them in your cupboard as a mix, take them for a snack. Just make sure that your, di your diet is really well balanced. And also, if you buy these things in bulk, you need to be eating them every day to make sure, you know, that they don't go off. So across those seeds, I just chop with your knife. Just want to finely shave those Brazil nuts. I would stir the flax and the hemp into your porridge. And if that is a little bit too thick for you, you can loosen it up with some hot water. Or if that's just perfect, great. Make a nice surface and then sprinkle your nut and seed mix on top. And that's probably enough for a portion. Looks a little bit ugly. This is apple spice porridge with lots of nuts and seeds. Perfect way to start the day. Perfect way to hit your omegas. Hmm. Plain porridge is really nice. That spice and the edge and the apple coming through is delicious. <laughs>